Hey, Solar Girls. Today we are gonna work on stop motion again and we're gonna do the same activity as last week, but we're gonna make a few changes. So you're gonna create a character. It could be an animal, a person, it could be an alien, and you are going to separate its body parts. That way when you make a stop motion animation movie with your character, you can have different parts move. If you made a human body, like you're gonna have a girl, you can even make her arm in two separate pieces. You could have from her elbow to her hand as one piece, her elbow to her shoulder as one piece. So then her body can bend and in your video, she can wave. So it'd be click, 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 right? And you would see her waving. Now, a lot of y'all did a really good job by breaking apart your person so you can show movement. But what we really have to focus on is keeping our camera still. When you are making a stop motion video, if you are moving your iPad around, if you are pick, putting your iPad down, picking it up, take a picture. Putting it down, moving, picking it up, taking a picture. Putting it down, moving, picking it up, taking a picture. Every time you move your iPad, your view in your stop motion changes. And then it's really hard to see your stop motion movement at all because they're trying to follow the paper and it makes it really hard to watch your video. And your video is not gonna look as good. So today, I know I've showed you this a long time ago, but I'm gonna show you a few ways you can prop up your iPad. Because during your stop motion movie, I don't want you to move your iPad at all. And I'm gonna go even a step further and I want you to tape down your setting. So you're gonna have a piece of paper with your setting drawn on it and then you'll have your characters loose. But your setting, you're gonna tape it down on the side so it doesn't move. And then you're gonna prop up your iPad in one way so it doesn't move. So at no time during your entire video are you gonna move the setting or are you gonna move your iPad. The only time you'll touch your iPad is to gently hit click and hit that button to take the photo, okay? And your stop motion movie, some of them are being really short. You're just taking maybe five pictures and then I can't even really see very much movement because it's so short and so fast of a movie. So your stop motion today, it has to one, have a setting, and it has to have moving objects, a moving character, and then for step three, it has to have at least 50 pictures. Yeah, 50, you heard me right. For stop motions, for it to be a good quality movie, you have to have a lot of pictures. If I was moving this arm to wave, I might even take picture, 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 picture. Every time you move it just a little bit, you want to take a picture, okay? So at least, at the very minimum, 50 pictures. Can you have more pictures in your video? Yes, absolutely. You can have 100 pictures in your video, but you have to have at least 50. All right, so let me show you some ways now how to set up your iPad so we can get that where we're not moving it. So watch this. All right, depending on what kind of plexiglass you have, if you're in the classroom, this one we were able to prop up the iPad on top of the plexiglass where you can see the setting below it. All right, and this one I use plexiglass too, but if you're at home, you can do this without plexiglass. If you can get two stools or two chairs and set your iPad in the center of that where the camera is looking straight down, that way you can see your setting below it and you have an aerial view of your whole stop motion setting. This is another setup you can easily do at home. If you can find a box, it could be an Amazon box, cereal boxes. Maybe you can even find some, like a, a crate that I used here. You can even use books if you can stack up books just to make them high enough that your iPad camera is going to hang off and look down at your setting. All right, this last one is the easiest one, but as you can see, the view is not as good as the others. But this one, you just use the little kickstand that's on the back of your iPad case that lets your iPad stand up on its own and set up your iPad somewhere where you can see your setting and then do not touch it. The view's not gonna be as good because it's not gonna be up above 
your setting, but you can still see your setting. And as long as you tape it down and not move it, your stop motion quality is going to be so much better. All right, girls. So now go and play around with setting up your iPad. Find a good spot where you can see your full setting. Ideally, you want to have an aerial view like from up above of your setting. That way, and only see your setting in your iPad camera lens. So go and find a really good spot, set it up, tape down your setting, and then don't move either one through your whole stop motion video. All right, I can't see, I can't wait to see what you make. Let's get creating. Bye, girls.